Hey DCS World Pilots and fellow YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. A couple days ago I bought the uh, FA-18C Aggressors campaign for the Hornets. Uh, it was marked off 50%. Thought I'd give it a go. Maybe it'll improve my uh, basic fighter maneuvers that desperately need some work. Nice way to make uh, use of the Nevada map that I've had for quite a while as well. It does come with uh, 12 missions, including this familiarization flight. Um, these guys over at Maple Missions do make some very good quality stuff. They've made the uh, 810 basic and advanced qualification training programs in the past. Um, I got the... Uh, briefing card up for this campaign up as you can see i'm just clicking through i can briefly show you some cool things it's got quite a bit of info about nellis air force base all the frequencies waypoints tack ends it's uh, basically a complete flight plan briefing so each mission uh, that you get comes with something like this that you can review before taking off Increase that situational awareness before you head out to the range. And with that, I will get going here and do more talking on the fly instead of sitting here on the ramp. Uzi 1-1, one, one. request taxi to runway. All right, guys, another thing about this flight, uh, it does require you to start up the aircraft from cold cockpit. It does require some basic understanding of the uh, waypoint and INS alignment to get going here. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. On your right is the home of the world-famous Thunderbirds. They are the air demonstration squadron of the USAF, assigned to the 57th wing based in Dallas. Created in 1953, they're the third oldest formal flying aerobatic team in the world, after the United States Navy Blue Angels, formed in 1946, and the French Air Force Petoy de France, formed in 1931. That funny-looking pod in your wing is a Cuban Corporation Tactical Air Crew Combat Training System, or Tax Pod. It sends signals to remote sensors located around the range which collects into a central supercomputer to process and display the data. This provides a much improved debrief in terms of accuracy and lessons learned. You can't hide any mistakes with this system active. All right, so local departure time is about 7.30. You got the sun coming up there. You got a tornado taking off in full burner. Pretty nice sight. We're taxing down to the runways, planning a runway three right at Nellis. Forward, one, two, airborne. Got my waypoints all set up as needed. Once we get down to the end of the runway, I'm going to hold short and uh, give it one last check. We do have a wingman assigned us. You'll see him up here shortly. Actually, you can see him right there. As you can see, the uh, frames down around 20. There's quite a few units loaded in the departure, Uzi 2 1. Request clearance for takeoff. And this guy keeps cutting me off. Damn it. Uzi 2 1. You are cleared for takeoff already. Climb 300 at 2FE 2 8. So I was saying there's quite a few units uh, loaded on this current mission. The uh, 20 to 25 frames it does improve as we get away from the ramp. As you can see, it's getting closer to 30. I'm going to hold short here at 3 left. All right, guys, we're going to get rolling here shortly. My wingman's airborne there. 
Uh, this mission does take about 30 to 35 minutes. I'm not going to show it to you in its entirety all in one shot. Sitting in cruise isn't uh, exactly the most fun, and I can't exactly talk for 35 minutes straight. So I'm going to slice it up into each waypoint. You're going to see that it gives us uh, a little commentary at each waypoint, a little sightseeing. It's pretty cool. Hopefully shave it down to something a little more... Uh, Enjoyable. All right, guys, we're clear for takeoff. Final's clear. And the runway's clear. Runway three right. All right, here we go. And we got full burner. Airspeed's alive. Plane wants to fly. We're pitching up. Positive rate. Gears coming up. And the flaps up to auto. And we're accelerating. Start bringing the power back. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. Just past the racetrack. We will make a left turn toward nav point flex. Remain below 3,000 until north of the racetrack and turn westbound. All right, leveling below three. There's our racetrack. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. Hard one. left turn. Turn left to nav point flex. Uzi 2-1 out. Coming left here, we can go up to 4,000. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. Just north of Nellis and north of our route to flex. Nav point Jettison Hill. This is an area designated for weapons jettison prior to landing. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. We are at nav point flex. Turn left to heading 270 and proceed to nav point FYTTR. All right, heading 270. We're level at 4,000, bringing the power back initially. All right, level clear out about 4,000 heading 270. Got a nice view of the Las Vegas metropolitan Uzi one area. One, Uzi two one. On our north is Gas Peak. It is directly north of Vegas and is the highest peak in the Las Vegas range of southern Nevada. Use caution when flying in this area due to civil aircraft flying in the north Las Vegas training area. All right, we're gonna head direct to FYTTR and climb up to 14,000. So our autopilots, attitude, hold heading, and we're climbing, hands free. And there is our lovely wingman. Use the VR zoom. All right, level here at uh, 14,000 on our way uh, to FYTTR. Just under seven miles to go. Gonna do our best to keep our speed at at least uh, above 0.78 Mach. I wanna climb up uh, once we get to pass FYTTR. I'll probably climb up to 24,000 feet. Nav point FYTTR. Turn right and proceed to nav point Jason. I right, go and select Jason now. We could let it auto select, but start the turn now. Autopilot's coming Mount off. Mount is Mount Charleston, officially named Charleston Peak. It is the highest mountain in both the Spring Mountains and Clark County. It is the eighth highest mountain in the state. And what's cool here is as we're climbing out up to 24,000 on our way to Jason. Our wingman sticks with us, tucked underneath our right wing the entire time. Now, if I do make any sudden and erratic moves, he will break away to avoid, but uh, he does a pretty good job. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. To the north is Creech Air Force Base, so watch for traffic in this area as you head to the range. Uzi 
Starting that right turn to flush. Let's look at our wingman. Leaving the contrails now. Now that we're up at altitude, the air is much colder. The transit route from Jason to flush to Garth is the corridor typically used by Red Air to get to and from at the range. When using the Rovelli Moa, the BD corridor is used with range entry and exit at Mopar. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1, we are at flush. Turn right and proceed to nav point guard. Uzi 2-1 out. Uh, so this time I'm just going to let it auto sequence to guard. You can see it sequenced. Start a right turn. Like I was saying earlier, as long as you don't make any excessive moves, our wingman does a great job. Of tucking in right underneath the right wing. going to pause it here real quick so going back to the briefing maps that we were given we'll scroll through it to the map give you a better idea of where we are and what we're doing so coming up here on gate one we flew through this red air corridor we're going to go through the gate there's garth right here and then we're sort of right turn this whole area is area 51. So we're going to go to the north, cut east, and then make our way back towards Nellis, going south through this corridor, and then right back into Nellis. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are at gate 1. Turn right and proceed to Mass Point, Delta Peak. Uzi 2-1 out. All right, starting that right turn to Belted Peak. Now, since we're on a more easterly heading, I'm going to climb up to 250, flat level 250, that is. To comply with the proper cruise altitudes, that's just the OCD in me. You can fly this mission at whatever altitude you want, 100 feet off the ground or as high as you want to do it. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. We are in range 74C, about 10 nautical miles northeast of the no-fly zone around Groom Lake. This restricted area is also known as the container. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1, we are at Belted Peak. Turn right towards Student Gap. Uzi 2-1 out. All right, starting the right turn, stand at flight level 250. The uh, waypoint is actually called Heiko. You'll, we will have a bit of commentary once we get close to Heiko. Uzi 1-1, one, one, Uzi 2-1. We are approaching the town of Rachel. See those green crop circles ahead? They're the result of an irrigation method called center pivot irrigation. Rachel is located on Highway 375, also known as the Extraterrestrial Highway because of its closeness to Area 51. Area 51 is just south of our flight plan in the no-fly zone around Groom Lake. Rachel is a frequent stopping point for many UFO hunters. Most of our air combat training will be conducted north of Rachel. North of Rachel is the 3740 line, the northern border
quarter of the R-74 range. This is used to help de-conflict inbound and outbound traffic. The rule is north in, south out. I remember that. North in, south out. Right about 24 miles to go to Waypoint Heiko, a.k.a. Student Gap. Our wingman has not gotten bored yet, still sticking with us. Got a great view of the Nevada desert. Get some mixed reviews on this map. Having done most of my flight training in this area, just to the south in Arizona, it actually grew me quite a bit. I thought he'd get bored of the desert, but uh, I don't know, there's something about the, the mountains and all the dry lake beds. Uzi 1 1, Uzi 2 1. We are approaching the town of Heiko. Heiko isn't a town anymore, more of a ghost town, but still used by farmers and ranchers alike. Heiko is a gap running between two ridge lines. It's called the Parak Summit Pass, but pilots refer to it as the Student Gap. So back to the uh, that Rachel town that we passed. I heard they got they've got it mapped out pretty well. Maybe one day I'll take the helicopter over and check it out with you guys. Got a gas station. Got some uh, Area 51 signage. I guess it is reflecting the real town of Rachel. It'll be pretty cool to check out. Uzi one one, Uzi two one. We are above Heiko. Turn right and proceed to the nav point Trout. Uzi 2-1 out. We are approaching Trout. Trout is one of the range entry and exit points for Blue Air and is typically called Gate 3. We will check out with the range safety controller Blackjack when we get closer to Trout. Blackjack, Uzi 2-1. Request clearance north of Gate 3. Uzi 2-1. Blackjack, contact. You're cleared at Gate 3. Your discretion. Have a good day, sir. Uzi 2-1, roger. Cleared for gate 3. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are at gate 3. Turn left and proceed to nav point Dream. Uzi 2-1, out. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are at Dream. Turn right and proceed to nav point Arco. Uzi 2-1, out. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are now in the Sally Corridor. This transit route is typically used by Blue Air to get to and from the range. All right, let's have a look at our wingman from the external view. We'll do a quick flyby here. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are at Arco. Turn left and proceed to nav point Acton. Uzi 21 out. We are approaching the town of Moapa on the right. It has the second and third largest structures in Nevada, the Entrevision and Kemp Towers. Uzi 11, Uzi 21. We are at Acton. Turn right and proceed to nav point Vet. Uzi 21 out. On the left is Moapa Valley. It is at the north end of the Muddy River, which connects to Lake Mead. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. We are at Bet. Turn right and proceed to nav point Apex. Reduce altitude to reach nav point Apex at 4,000 MSL. Uzi 2-1 out. All right, Apex is the last point for Nellis. It's about 21 miles ahead of us. You can actually see Uzi Nellis. Uzi 1-1, Uzi 2-1. That completes our tour of the NTTR. There are many other areas around Vegas to explore, including the Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, and the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation. Hopefully this flight has prepared you properly for the missions to come. You are cleared to RTB to Nellis. Remember to park in the area reserved for the aggressors where we started. Uzi 2-1 out. All right, that's the uh, quick walk around the block. Starting to descent to Apex and Nellis. I want us to cross Apex at 4,000, so I've got a pretty good uh, rate of descent coming in. 
I use the uh, VR zoom, I can zoom in, you can see the two runways right ahead. All right, trimmed out pretty good. Gonna aim right for that aiming point marker, maybe just before it. We're just gonna fly it right on the runway. All right, we're down. Thrust levels are idle. And we're going maximum braking. See the F-18 Aggressor BFM campaign, it's active. And we're all set. That is that. I hope to get out uh, more missions once I start rolling into the next mission. I'll be sure to uh, upload that video. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.